gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way. Gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I apologize, it is extremely dark right now. But welcome to the Lone Star Hawaiian YouTube channel. My name is Chad Naho'oleva. This is the Lone Star Hawaiian Silverado. We got a fun one planned for you today. We're teaming up with Oxbeam, and uh, well, let's get right to it. Hey, how'd you guys hide the gate? Hmm? What are you doing? Well, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. What we're working on today, doing a little modification. We're actually gonna get right into it. We got a cool, unique little addition that's gonna be going on the front end here. I can say it right now because I know it's going to be true. There's gonna be a lot of people who hate it and some people who like it, but regardless, we're gonna do it anyways. We need to remove the wifey's car from the garage. That way we can get to the rest of the front end. Let's do that now. 262,000 miles. This little Mercedes C230 just keeps on kicking. First things first, and my neighbor just kicked on his mower, so it might get a little noisy. It's not even a lawnmower, they don't have a lawn. As done several times before, you gotta pull this top shroud, this plastic cover off, and then there's a few pins in the back. We're gonna pop this front grill out. All right, it's pretty simple to get this off. We had one, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts. Those came right out. And then the biggest pain in the butt of this is these pins. Pieces here, basically just take some pliers, squeeze it down on the back side, and it pops right out. You gotta pull it as you press it down. That's the biggest pain in the butt part. But that pops right out. So there you have the grill. Set it to the side. And you're missing your front end. Now, if you by chance didn't notice, I in fact have my brand new Supercar Mafia hat on. The Stradman's doing a giveaway, giving away that McLaren 570S that they're highly modifying. So I threw my name in the hat by buying literally a hat. I'm just kidding. I just really wanted the hat. What's up, dude? All right, guys, we've got a visitor in the garage. This is the Lone Star Hawaiian 2.0. Hop up. That doesn't need my help. Hey, uh-uh, not in the street. Come on. I am somewhat of a responsible parent. Sometimes. Come on, dude. Let's show the people of the internet what we got in store for them. And it's in this box right here. Let's open it up, bud. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. High five. Heck yeah. <laughs> What this is, is a 32 inch light bar. It's a curved light bar, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. So we have some wiring accessories there. Got more wiring. All right, there it is. Got a screwdriver for me? So this is how my wheels get scratched. So let's finally pull this thing out. All right guys, so here we have the 32 inch light bar from Oxbeam. This is the curved light bar. A big mahalos and shout out to Oxbeam for providing this today. And as we go in, here's the idea for it. Now the idea for this light bar is to sit behind the front grill. Big mahalos to Oxbeam. Go check them out, oxbeam.com. All the information is below in the description. So let's figure out how we're gonna mount this thing up. And looks like someone's gonna help me. Oh, you're busted now, kid. Mom's here. That's 
winter for you. Winter here in Hawaii means it goes from being completely daylight to complete darkness in about 30 minutes. And it makes working on figs a little more difficult. But as you saw there, just a moment ago, we're having a little difficulty hanging this. And the way I would like to mount it is causing the issue altogether. Now this is made to be mounted in a variety of different ways. I've seen these light bars hung here at the top of the cab. I've seen them on pusher bars, off-road bumpers built in. These things are really versatile, but the aux beam, beam being a very deep actual light bar, that when I mean deep, it has this piece here in the back. I'm not sure exactly the purpose of this, and maybe to keep from whistling in the air if it's mounted at the top or maybe heat dissipation. Whatever it is, it's causing a little interference with my front bracket. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna be pretty simple to do. We're gonna trim a little bit here at the back. Now this is mounted from the side with this type of bracket. So we might have to fabricate and get a little creative on how we're gonna mount that up. But as you saw, it is complete dark out. So we're gonna tackle the rest of that in the morning. So we're gonna take off, but we're gonna see you just in one second when it is complete daylight behind me. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. All right, so now we're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna mount this light up in the front grill. But before we even get to that, a quick shout out to Oxbeam. Now I've installed a lot of aftermarket parts, not only on the truck, but just on cars throughout my life. And every time you get a part, typically it comes with some kind of instructions. And those instructions are always printed on a piece of paper, black and white, super cheap, and they're not very helpful a lot of the times. But shout out to Oxbeam here, as you can see, this is all printed in color, great descriptions, great instructions, and it's more of like a laminated material, so it'll last a little bit longer. So when it comes to manufacturing parts, a lot of big companies will typically try to cut costs wherever they can. That's not gonna really impact the product itself, so that always ends up being the little things, like instructions. But first indications are quite pleasing. It seems like Oxbeam actually cares about the end user and the overall experience. Now it's enough talking, let's figure out how we're gonna trim that back of the light to clear this front bracket here because that's the issue we're having. Let's get to it. What we've done marked via a screwdriver where I want the light bar to sit. So I remounted the front grill and that bottom section where it's open is where the light bar is gonna be mounted. But that's about where it's gonna sit. So next steps, that rear backing there I gotta trim there and there in order for this light bar to sit further back inside the front grill. That way I can put the front grill back on once it's all mounted up. All right guys, quick update. Got the little canopy up because I am sweating my butt off. Gotta love winter time, right? Winter time, tough time. So here we have it, retrofitted, the 32 inch light bar. Now we can fabricate some kind of a mount for it. Not sure exactly where we're gonna do it. We might actually utilize this bracket here. I went back and forth on the idea of actually mounting it to the front grill, but given the mounts on this are actually plastic and not metal, I don't wanna put any unnecessary weight or tension or stress on that plastic because plastic is prone to failure. There's the update. That's exactly where it's gonna be. And we just gotta figure out how in the heck we're gonna mount that. Just to clarify, this is a work car. This is not my actual vehicle. Not a chance. All right, this is where we are so far. So we went ahead and notched the back of the light bar itself. That way it sits up flush further into the grill, what we're gonna to use to mount it is the front grill frame. Now the kit comes with side mounts, and there's actual side mounts that sit this up, but the problem I'm running into is the particular area I wanna mount this light bar up, there's nothing, nothing I can mount that side mount up to. So I'm left to mounting it to the actual bracket here, which is totally fine. And theoretically, I could fabricate some kind of a bracket, but I don't wanna make any permanent alterations to my truck. We're just gonna basically strap it on with some brackets and then we'll be good. All right, guys, do you know those people who say measure twice, cut once? I really gotta start heating that council because I uh, didn't measure very well. 
but drilled two holes all the way through. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna utilize this U-bolt here. Again, all this hardware cost me about four bucks at Lowe's. You can do it a million different ways, but essentially that's gonna sit in there. And then these two bolts will slide in all the way through on both sides. And these two will hold in this. And essentially this is what it's gonna look like when it's all in. And this is gonna cinch down and clamp and mount this on the front bracket. Again, there's a million different ways I'm sure you can go about mounting this on your truck. The hardware that was provided, unfortunately, because I'm so picky where I want this to sit on the front of the truck, it didn't work for me. So I came up with my own thing. Again, four bucks at Lowe's and we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and mount this up for the first time on the bracket and hopefully it all fits back on the front end. We have it 32 inch ox beam led light bar mounted on the front grille bracket and man that is solid on there i probably don't say this enough but thank you so much for being a part of the channel because we've come a long way in a little time it's funny to think back just a few months ago we made a deal that if we hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel my wife lets me go buy power tools and here we are a few months later 11,500 subscribers on the channel today. We're growing pretty quickly and I only have you to thank for that. Typically new channels take a while to gain some traction and really start growing. And to be honest, we've done it pretty quickly. I only have you to thank for that. And to be honest, every time I do this stuff with some smile on my face, I love this. I love this stuff. I want to continue doing it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button below. Be a part of the Lone Star Hawaiian family. But regardless, let's go ahead and bolt this thing back up and see what it all looks like with that light bar. So still a lot of work to do. We still got the fun job of wiring everything in. Regardless, woo! I like that. I like it a lot. Now comes the super fun part, which is wiring. So we're gonna start here. Got a positive and negative lead. We got a fuse. And then this piece is kind of like a fuse switch. And that's gonna to run to the control box. Now this allows you to change the color of the LED light, as well as switch it on and off. And this is a manual color controller right here. But this is also a Bluetooth type setup, so you can actually control this from your smartphone. And then this piece here, will wire into the cab, and I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but here's my on off switch. So we'll see where we end up there. So let's go ahead and start playing around with this and see how we're gonna wire this to there and that inside the cab. All right. So as you can see, it's nighttime once again. This is just the joys of two full-time jobs as parents, having a kid, do what you can, when you can. But basically it has power, it has the switch. We have not hooked up the red, green, blue function of it just the light bar. So we're gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek before we finish everything up to do the final review. What's up guys, we're back again. It is time for reassembly. All right, before I put everything back together, here's a quick summary of what we've done with the cable. So it runs through the fender here, really hard to see, small gap, comes down here and then inside the door wiring harness, it comes in through this way, up into the glove box, and it's currently sitting free in the glove box. Uh, I haven't decided 100% where I would like to put it, so I'm gonna leave it in here for now. So every time I wanna use it, just come in, click it, and we're good. So that's there. All the wires are run, it's got power, it's got the red, green, blue aspect all wired up. Basically ready to go. So we gotta put all the paneling back on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So here's our final look. We need to tuck some stuff back in as far as paneling goes. As far as the wiring. So here we have the control box. This controls the red, green, blue aspect of the light bar. 
we ran ahead and ran the wiring. So we got it mounted up underneath, up against the fender, comes underneath the coolant reservoir, underneath the cold air intake box, comes through where all the headlight wiring is. So you can see this wire here. Comes down and it's basically, it runs along this little frame rail and everything is wired in right here. I want it to look as factory as possible, so I tucked everything away, zip tied it up to where you can't see, and it runs right along the frame rail, so pretty seamless. It took forever again. This is day, I think, number three of this video, and the reason being, I'm trying to do it the right way. I want it done properly, so all the wiring, all the fun stuff with the bracket mounting just took absolutely forever, but we're in the final stages, so there's the last look. Let's get the grill back on, get everything nice and cleaned up, and then we'll finally do a little bit of a reveal video. All right, everything installed. This is such a good look. I absolutely love this. Nice ghosted in 32 inch LED aux beam light bar. I love the way this turned out. I'm super stoked on this. So here we have it. If you look real close, you can obviously see the light bar, but by just a glance, you don't necessarily see that there. Man, this turned out great. Oh, what are you doing, bud? So here's where we're going to leave you guys and say we'll see you tonight when it gets dark because we're going to do a little reveal on the actual functionality as well as the whole look. Suck me in smoke, breathe me in and let me go. Sing to your heart to find you. Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the light. So you can see what you do Restless every time we start locking eyes Oh, 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 lost control oh, oh, it's paradise with honesty But I'm high, oh, oh, in the dead of the night See drops on the floor Alright guys, now that you've seen the reveal, what do you think? I'm totally stoked on the actual light bar itself and how it really turned out. Yeah, now we can blind everybody. Now we can piss off a lot of drivers, which I'll never do. This is an off-road application only. Got the application, I just hit myself in the head with my phone, don't do that. So let's go ahead and bring that back down. Not bad, huh? So there is several different functions when it comes to the application itself. You can set multiple light bars up to run off one application. So particularly this one being in the front, you turn your Bluetooth on, you connect it the first time, you're good to go from there. So I'm gonna choose the front. So there we have the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into mode. Now when it pulls up modes, you got a lot of different things. You got white, you got exposure, you got breath as it's called right here. So we go ahead and choose white. And what's really cool about this, what I think is, you can actually control the brightness. So if you go like this, swipe to the right, and then back left. This is completely controllable when it comes to the brightness of the white light itself. Also what's cool is the red, green, and blue aspect. So here at the top you have mode, you have record, and you have color. So here's a nice color wheel for us. Let's go ahead and run through some of these fun ones. So we got blue, let's click red, eh, go to yellow. How about some green? And nice aqua. 
as I roll my finger around that. It's kind of cool, huh? All right, so we can go stick with the blue. And there we have a blue light bar, which is completely illegal. Please don't shine any blue or red from the front of your vehicle. It is in fact illegal because that's an emergency vehicle's colors. Another fun one, let's see what they got when it comes to music. And the light itself will actually change to the sound of the music. As a music function. Let's go and go back to the main menu, go back to white, again all the way up, all the way down. Let's go ahead and turn this thing around and see how bright we get. So here we have all the way down and we're up. It's pretty impressive. My headlights are completely off. That is tremendously bright. Not bad. All right, we can crank that back down. All right, wifey, hit the switch. <laughs> That's so bright. All right, guys, that's a nice little addition onto the front end. That is All right, you guys, we are back in the garage and I'm really happy the way this turned out. Again, utilizing the application, super user friendly. Turn that back on. This has been a really fun install, to be honest. I love the way it sits flush with the grill. I love the way it's kind of hidden in there to a sense of you really don't see it when it's off. But when it's back on and you want to use it and you need some light, heck, you got it for sure. You can do a lot with these light bars. You can install them almost anywhere in your vehicle. I wanted it there, so it took me a little bit longer than it should have having to customize some brackets because I'm kind of picky. But regardless, this has been a very fun project. Thank you so much to Oxbeam for being a part of the channel and part of this project. We do have a discount code on the light bar, so scroll down in the description, click on that link. They have several different options when it comes to light bars. They have a 22 inch, a 32 inch, a 42 inch, and even if you're super crazy, they got a 52 inch light bar. Super stoked with the 32 inch. It's turned out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Be a part of the Lone Star Hawaiian family. But we're to that point in the night. I need to go inside and get ready for work tomorrow because I have a ton to do. And I've been spending all weekend working on this. I've had a ton of fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride as well. Until next time, you guys take care. Aloha and... Oh, we hope. Gee! <laughs>